What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ant Live Live and Effect back in the building. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, look, it's been a minute since we just hopped on here, hopped in Unlimited, and chopped it up. You feel me? So that's what we're gonna be doing today. But this is what the squad is looking like. Gary Payton don't got no shoes on. That's crazy. Now, look, I don't know about you boys, but I've been getting cooked in Unlimited. Look, no cap. I'm six and sixteen, bro. Six and sixteen. This is my worst start to Unlimited. Ever. If you new here, show some love. We on that road to 1K. Hit that sub button. Leave a like. Let's get it. I'm really in my duffy for this game, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I'm locked in. A like, couple good signs off rip. He didn't go straight into the pause menu. He got John Moran from Dunktober. He's four and three. I don't know. Something seems fishy about this guy. All right, I see you, Kobe. Off rip. Good dunk. Let's go. We gonna get straight to it. Now, like I said in the intro, we got some things to talk about because 2K. I ain't gonna lie. They've been taking some W. Now, as we all saw that Joel and B went for that 70 point game, which is like crazy. 70 points, bro. It, it, is, is wicked and i think he only had like one three-pointer like you just on timing at that point but 2k surprisingly did give him a moment's card hold on camp i'm not good with your jump shot i don't know your jump shot yet chief but nonetheless it is a free pink diamond joel and bead and from what people are saying the card is really really good now my question is and maybe y'all could let me know in the comments down below is he better than d rob that's too much space. That's Gary Payton. Now, if he's better than D-Rob, I might go ahead and get him anyway just because I feel like D-Rob's time on the squad is coming to an end. That's tough, Kyrie. You know, D-Rob just isn't as effective as he used to be when he first came out. Now, there was a point in the game where he was the best center in the game, and it wasn't even close. Now, with that being said, I'm not saying D-Rob is bad at all, you know? It's just, I don't know. You know when you had a player for so long, it just don't hit the same anymore? That's where I'm at with him. Like, I'm just tired of looking at, bro. It's nothing against you. You could still hoop, but it's like, you gotta go. Now, the challenge really isn't that bad either. You got to get 70 points, which I saw some people on Twitter saying it was hard, but I'm like, bro, just go into a domination game, get your best Uda, and come off the screen. See, that's what I'm talking about. D-Rob know he getting packed up. So, yeah, let me know, guys. Should I go get Joel Embiid or keep D-Rob? Did hear he's very similar to his other pink diamond. It sucks for the people that got him because it's kind of like they wasted VC or MT trying to get him for a free card that came out a week later. But it's definitely good for somebody like me. He's running that Amethyst job. I ain't going to lie, 2K. We need a new John Moran. You kind of hoeing us on that. There's definitely some cards we're due for, and hopefully we see them in this Friday set. Let's go, Jordan. Big block. I'm telling y'all, this Jordan defense be impeccable. Oh, shit. He just hit me. Okay, that's too much space for Scotty. Too hotty, though. This dynamic duo is crazy. It's not even a duo. It's Scotty. Scotty is him. This is like a very, like, new lineup. Not new lineup, but he probably hasn't played my team for a minute. But I gotta get the starters back in because my bench is getting a little tired. Kind of slacking off on defense. We're gonna get the starters back in. Try to get some momentum going. But I kind of got sidetracked in that quarter. But getting back to the free cards, 2K did also come out with that Pyramid of Power event. Now, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people saying DeMar is an L. Nobody has used him yet from what I've seen. So how are we saying cards is L's if we ain't use them? Now, look, the, the journey there is an L. Okay, I will I will say that. Because I mean, bro, 30,000 MT for a ruby? Nah, big dog. 30,000 MT for a ruby is actually insane. I'm not even going to lie to you. And there's, what, five of them telling me I got to spend 150,000 MT to get these players? Now, in hindsight, when you look at it, okay, it's not that bad. You get two diamonds along the way, a pink diamond, three amethysts. So, like, yeah, okay, they're going to charge 150,000. When you look at it like that, do it make it better? No. Diamonds be, what, 150,000 just by themselves? So, if there's two of them, that's three. 300,000. Then you got a pink diamond, which is 260,000 MT. So just off that alone, you had like 500,000 MT. <laughs> But, like, I get the frustration. 30,000 MT for rubies is insane. Especially when it's supposed to be, like, a, a card that everybody could get, you know? But I think, now hear me out. Hear me out. I think for the people who like to shoot them leaners and fades and stuff, it's going to be a good card. He got a 98 midi. Now, no, I have not got him yet, like I said. But I am going to get him because I, I have to try it out. I'm not going to say a card is bad that I haven't used. That's just, that's not me. So, I will be the test dummy. I will spend all my MT to get DeMar DeRozan. Hold on, Gary Payton. Okay, that's tough. It's tough to call the Pyramid of Power a W just because the rubies are so expensive. I do also think Mike Miller is going to be a good card, though. Like I said, though, I got y'all. I'll be the test of dummy. I got y'all, boys. I'll spend 30000 MT on a ruby. Now, if anybody did get him already, please let me know how he is down below. And leave your thoughts on the whole event in general. Like I said, I know a majority of people are like, nah, it's dumb. It's an L because they ODing on the prices. But maybe some people out there like it. Cash him out, Wemby. I never hit threes with Wemby. Yes, I do. Come on. Let's get right. Let's get right. I don't know how my 6 and 16 ass is winning this game right now. Well, I do. It's because he got a bunch of amethyst and rubies in. But I needed this. Obi. Oh, damn. I be mistiming that. Hold on. I see you. Gary Payton. 
light them up. Cha-ching. Yo, this Gary Payton is elite, bro. Shout out to all y'all boys in stream that put me on the Gary Payton. Because I did not know he was moving like that. All the way, Bron. Oh, my goodness. This LeBron is so elite. One thing I do got to do is get up out these default My Team jerseys. That's probably why I be getting cooked out here. Hold on, Scotty too hotty in the corner. You got to get out there, gango. Now, look, y'all know we can't afford no new jerseys right now, though. I told y'all in that Michael Jordan Scotty pack opening, it's going to be budget cuts for a little minute. Hold on, D-Book, cash them out. Oh, no. But look, though, we going to get some new jerseys for the team soon. Don't even worry about it. Hey, he eating with that Bron. I ain't going to lie. Now, it is NBA Rivals Week. And 2K is saying that we, I missed that. Like I was saying, though, it is NBA Rivals Week. And 2K did say we will get a earnable pink diamond, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. Or pink diamond going to come at the end of Rivals Week. I ain't going to say no to no free pink diamond. Do that make sense? I ain't going to say no to no free pink diamond. Yeah, but I just hope that it's somebody good. You feel me? Like, hopefully, maybe my prediction is going to be a Kawhi Leonard. Now, part of me is saying that because he is on the cover of that little promo they got for it. But I think it could be a Kawhi. We're definitely due for a Kawhi. Kawhi or a Paul George because we did just get a diamond Kawhi not too long ago. Give us that pink diamond PG-13, please. We need it. Uh, he left in the fourth quarter. He made us play that whole game for him to leave in the fourth quarter. GG to my opponent. We couldn't even see the box score, but I know Gary Payton was going off. I know Kobe was going off. Okay, I'll take 1250 MT. I need that. I need all the MT I could get. Now, looking at this pink diamond, Joel Embiid, he got a 95 post fade and post hook, which is crazy. 93 midi, 93 ball, 97 free throw. Nah, this card might be him. This card might be him. We got to see badges. 18 Hall of Fame badges off rip, 25 gold. He got Hall of Fame catch and shoot and corner specialist and anchor. Nah, this card is insane. This card is actually insane. We might have to go get him on this account. Let me go see D-Rob. Your time might be up, D-Rob. I ain't going to lie because that Joel Embiid is looking insane. All right, basic stats, 89 three ball, so not as good. His midi isn't as good. Damn, he don't got nothing as good. He only got 10 Hall of Fame badges. Hey, I think we're gonna have to go get Joel and B. But again, let me know down below what you guys think. That's gonna do it for this video. If you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the recent love and support. We on that road to 1K. This was your boy Ant Live, Live and Effect, and we out. Peace.